Hello everyone and welcome to another Halu Caesar review. Today I'm looking at Go. This is a 4,000 year old game, ancient, ancient game. One of the most popular board games in the world, uh, which you may or may not know. This is uh, very popular in China, Japan, Korea, and this game is fantastic. I'm gonna be mostly focusing on the quality of the Go set here uh, that you see. Uh, this is uh, from uh, Yellow Mountain Imports and a fantastic quality set. Um, and I'll be mentioning, you know, some thoughts about Go as well. But this is primarily a product review of their Go set here. Now, I thought it would be interesting to just share. I actually purchased from them, from Yellow Mountain Imports, from, uh, it was back in 2012, this magnetic uh, Go set, um, and that was back in 2012. Well, I wanted to get a little bit of history here with just the my experience with Go. You know, the, the game Go, as you see in front of you, my first experience with Go actually was seeing it um, on the movie, uh, A Beautiful Mind, um, you know, years and years ago, and uh, it really piqued my interest of, you know, what is this game? You know, I enjoyed playing chess at the time. I wasn't, I did not play chess at, you know, competitive levels whatsoever, but I enjoyed playing chess. And, you know, this really intrigued me. What is this game? I remember looking it up and trying to play online at the time and just not understanding the game. Uh, I didn't, I didn't really get it. I started getting into board games, you know, more and more um, around that, uh, you know, 2008 uh, time frame, 2009, in that general area. And in 2012, I was like, okay, I'm going to buy a set. So I actually bought this set. Um, and this is actually from Yellow Mountain Imports uh, as well. So this was, again, back in 2012, I purchased this set. And again, I played some and, you know, I just kind of put, got put on the shelf again. I, I had a hard time really kind of understanding it, the, the game and uh, I really didn't get it out and didn't explore it too much. So, uh, you know, I had this set and it's been sitting around. And then during the pandemic, of course, a lot of online board gaming happening. And I started playing Go uh, with one of my uh, coworkers and friends. He he had played Go, um, you know, at a young age for a little bit and had some experience. And, and so we kind of connected there with kind of this desire to play Go more often. And we ended up just kind of having an ongoing game. Um, and it's been really, really fun. And so it got me more and more into the, the game of Go. And so I wanted, I really wanted to try out, you know, a more traditional, nice, very nice Go set. So I uh, reached out to Yellow Mountain Imports, uh, and this is a review copy. So this was provided uh, to me uh, for free for purposes of doing a product review like this. So, you know, just put that up front uh, there. Uh, they were kind enough also to give me a code so that you can get 10% off uh, any of the, their products. Uh, and I'll include that in the link in the description. So if you see what you like and you're interested in trying something out, you can get 10% off. Um, they do have a, a commission-like program, but I told them no. Uh, I don't want any commission for, for that. I want to leave it more true. You know, I don't want to try to sell you something. I'm just doing my own personal feelings of this set uh, for you. So you can get an idea of the quality of the set and uh, the feel of it, uh, my thoughts. And if you're interested, there is a code that uh, it will be in the link for 10% off. So enjoy that. Um, again, this I had purchased uh, back in 2012. This is, I just wanted to briefly mention this one. We'll highlight and, and mostly talk about the quality of this. But this is actually a really um, nice beginner set um, for, for a number of reasons. Uh, this is a 19 by 19 board. You can see it's a little bit smaller. So it's smaller than, you know, kind of the traditional board. Um, but very, very portable. The way that this folds up with these stones um, included in it 
is really, really nice, right? It doesn't take up a lot of space and you can travel with it. Uh, very easy uh, to bring places and you can play in the car because the pieces are magnetic. Now, as far as the set goes, uh, the board, you know, really pretty basic. Uh, it's got kind of a nice fake wood grain to it, uh, but really it's very, very functional, very, very portable. The stones, uh, nice, uh, that they, they came with a, a nice little plastic uh, case for the stones themselves. And they're very kind of a shiny, just plastic. And my only uh, thing, again, this was back in 2012, so I don't know if this has changed much from any of their current magnetic sets, but, you know, the, the inset, the encased magnets here, some of them are a little uh, skew. They don't really lay flat. And that kind of drove me crazy, honestly. So, you know, there's, you know, they're not all like that, but some of them definitely are kind of a skew while others are nice and flat. Uh, so that affects how they lay on the board. Um, they're not real, real strong magnets, but they work, right? So you can totally have this sideways on a wall if you wanted and uh, have that you know, on a wall and be able to um, play go like that and have it on a wall, which is pretty cool, I think. So um, very, very portable and affordable. So, you know, uh, budget wise, if you're on a nice, uh, if you're on a budget and looking to just kind of try out go or get into, you know, very, very nice set that comes with everything that you need, all the go uh, stones there magnetic, portable, um, really nice beginner set there. So once I started playing Go More, it's like, oh, I really want to get my hands on a nice Go set. And this is awesome. I love it. Love everything about this. Um, this is a bamboo board with uh, bamboo bowls with Yunzi stones. Um, double double convex Yunzi stones, and uh, they are awesome. I love it. So let's go ahead and show you first the board here. So again, made from bamboo. It's got some nice, a really, really nice look to it. Uh, you can see all the different layers um, on the side as they are compressed together. Uh, be aware when you're buying the boards, uh, there's some different ones. So this is etched, meaning, you know, it's actually has like a laser or something coming in and cut these lines into the board itself. Really, really like that. Um, I like that uh, they, they do have boards as well that are a little bit cheaper uh, for boards where it's basically the lines are printed on the onto the board. But personally, I, I really, really like the etched um, boards. Uh, I feel like it's gonna the hold up longer and I, I just really, really enjoy the look uh, and feel of having those etched lines into the board. So this board as well, I think uh, you double check on you know the different descriptions, but this board is 19 by 19 on one side and it does have the 13 by 13 on the other side, which is really great for, you know, playing with beginners, uh, getting others into the game, a lot more manageable size, 13 by 13 when you're first learning than the 19 by 19 <laughs> board. Okay, so the board is great. It's got a nice finish on it uh, and just, it's smooth. It's, you can feel all the, the etched, oh, it's just great, great board. So they also included uh, this uh, cover for it, uh, which I really appreciate that they provided something. It's just kind of like this felt, almost felt type fabric. Um, and it works, it fits very, very snugly into this cover. Um, my only issue, honestly, with this, which again, I, I view as just kind of a bonus to help keep the board nice, I don't like the Velcro. So it uh, the board goes in and then it's got just this long Velcro strap that goes along. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. 
I don't like the Velcro, the just the coarseness of that, like getting on wood, trying to scratch that, or getting stuck to my carpet, or whatever it is. I'm not a huge fan of Velcro. I really wish uh, they would have just had this like flap come over and like tuck in like another strap. You know what I mean? I, I just I wish that it connected a little something separately. It works. It's functional. I'm glad they included it. I don't like the Velcro. I wish it had a different uh, method of keeping that closed. Again, I think simply sewing some fabric and having just fold over underneath like another strap that came along here would have been better in my opinion. So the cover, it works. I'm glad we have it to keep my board safe. I don't like the Velcro. I may try to make my own or modify this one somewhat to get rid of the Velcro. Okay, let's get on to the stones and the bowls. The bowls are awesome. Look at that. So again, this is bamboo. And they have a variety of uh, different wood boards and bowls on uh, their website. Uh, but I really, really enjoy the, the color and look of the bamboo. Uh, the bamboo bowls have this nice uh, kind of glossy finish on them. Uh, and they just look really, really nice. They hold all the stones that came in this set uh, really, really well. Again, it's not, it fills them up, <laughs> and but it's not too full. Uh, the, the lid fits on well, uh, so everything's really good there. Plus the lid. So if you are familiar with Go, you can capture opponent's stones. And uh, it's really nice to have a place to put those stones rather than just, you know, on the side of the board. Um, and so these bowls have a nice depth to them uh, to be able to hold captured stones, which I think is really awesome. And not only that, but it's very easy to get them in and out because it's got that uh, angle on the edge. So some bowls, you'll notice they may just have like flat lids or something. I really, really like that the bowls have kind of a depth to them so that you can put the captured stones into. So these bowls are great. Last but not least, the stones themselves. So uh, if you've looked around and are looking at, you know, different go sets, you know that there's all sorts of different kinds of materials, you know, from, you know, what we looked at earlier, just kind of this plastic stones. Uh, you can easily get just kind of random uh, stones uh, to use too. I've seen some really nice kind of, uh, uh, you know, homemade sets, if you will, of kind of natural stones and different things. But these are Yunzi stones and they are really, really fantastic. I like them a lot. So um, Yunzi stones are actually considered to be the official uh, Go stone of choice in China. Uh, and they are really, really nice. I like them a lot. Uh, you can see here the black and the white stones. They are kind of have a more of a matte type look to them. They're not real, real shiny, um, but they are beautiful. Beautiful quality, really nice to the touch and feel. Um, it's just hard not to. I, I mean, when I play Go now, I'm just kind of shuffling through these stones. Uh, they feel amazing. Uh, these are double convex, uh, which uh, mean, you know, it's got that curve here and on both sides. Uh, and they lay really, really well on the board. Uh, you can see here with the intersections, they fit really, really nicely. Um, that on on the board itself um the the placement you know the traditionally hair people talk about the sound they have a nice good sound to them when you snap them on to the board there uh lay them on and really really enjoy these stones they're so basically you can get double convex or you can get single convex, which is just the flat side. Um, you know, it's curved on one flat and the other. Uh, some people like that. Uh, they may not move around or shift, you know, you can kind of see this moving around a little bit, kind of wobbling. 
I have no issues with that. I really, really like this double convex. It's really easy to pick them up. The single convex makes it a little more difficult to kind of pick up the stones off the board. So, but the other ones, if you're, you know, double single, you could flip them over and have the flat side up. You, some people like utilizing that for scoring purposes and uh, other things, but I personally like this double convex a lot. And the material is just great. They feel so nice. Um, they are just really, really nice. The black also, uh, if you're looking up kind of things about Yunzi stones, you can probably see this kind of slight green color along the edge. If you hold this directly up to light, it's basically that beautiful green and you can kind of see some like floaties or something in it. Uh, but this beautiful green color uh, with these black stones. And it is just really, really interesting. Really, really cool uh, to see. But, you know, when you when they're on the board, you don't see any of that beautiful green color um, as you do when you hold it up to the light. But uh, just this beautiful black color um, and the white uh, stones... Uh, Look a lot like maybe some Mentos or something. Don't try to eat these. They're very, very tough, very hard. Uh, I've had a few drop off the side of the table, playing with my kids and everything. No issues, no scratches, really, really sturdy stones. Um, they're fantastic. I love them. Can't say enough good things about this set. The stones, the bamboo bowls, the bamboo board, all fantastic. I didn't mention... But the game, uh, the set also comes with uh, a way of storing these bowls in this bag. And the bag is really actually a nice uh, quality bag. It's got a good zipper on it, uh, good strong handles attached to there. It's not a cheaply made bag. Um, does really, really well. Um, hold, I think it will hold up really, really well. Holds both of these uh Bowls full of stones works really, really great. So I love, I love what they provided there. They also did provide some Velcro straps to help keep the, you can put them around these bowls to make sure the lids stay on tight. I'm not, I'm not walking around turning this upside down or whatever. I'm not really concerned about it. And again, I don't like Velcro. <laughs> so if they included, you know, some uh, more elastic bands that would just go around this, I would have loved that. Don't like the Velcro. I'm probably just going to keep those in the bag, you know, in case I am like going on a trip or packing them up or something. Sure, it doesn't go everywhere. Sure, I might use them. So I'll probably just keep them kind of wadded up uh, in there. Um but, I, you know, I, I don't think they're needed. So the bag included for the bowls uh, to hold the stones, great, great. And just a really great quality go set. And that is, again, uh, from Yellow Mountain Imports. They have all sorts of different kinds. Um, and for different looks, you may not like the look of the bamboo. You may want a darker wood. Um, how, whatever it is. Or, you know, the Yunzi stones are some of the more expensive ones. But they have... I know different materials and different sets. You can buy the board separate, stone separate, if you already have a board. Uh, so lots of lots of great options there. And again, I'll put a link in the description of this, 10% off uh, if you use that code. Again, I do not get any commission or anything from those sales. So uh, just put that out there. Again, this was a provided review copy. Um, I am so thrilled with this set. I think it's Definitely worth the money. This set with the board, the stones, the bowls, all of that, um, I think was around $180, somewhere in that price range. But there's also some really nice looking sets uh, with some of the cheaper stones and everything uh, that are more like 120 in that price range. Again, or if you're interested in Go and, and want a, a more budget friendly or a more portable version, they have those types of sets as well that are more like 30, you know, $40 price range. Uh, so go ahead and check those out if you want, but I am really happy with this Go set. Um, really been enjoying it. The game of Go is so simple 
and yet so complex in its strategy and I'm just in love with it and I'm in love with this Go set. Um, it's really, really fantastic. Kids have also been enjoying uh, learning some Go, uh, but we also play a lot of Go Maku, which you can play on this set as well. 19 by 19 board, a very simple game of trying to get five stones in a row. Um, and it is definitely not tic-tac-toe. There's definitely a lot more involved with that. So there's a few other games that you can play on this Go board uh, with these Go stones, not just Go, uh, that are really, really fun too. Um, and I love Go. I love that it scales really well with the 19 by 19. You can play on the 13 by 13 with beginners and just really, really love that scalability. Um, you can have a beginner place, you know, you know, three stones before you place your first one. You give them some handicap to try to balance some of that out. It's just an amazing game. Love the set as well. I think the set makes a big difference as um, just the feel uh, of Go. And it's one of those games too that it seems like there's strategy and understanding the shapes and where to put things, but also kind of understanding your opponent and, and just the feel of the game. I love that and I love the feel and quality of this set as well. So that is Go and my thoughts on the game itself, some thoughts there and uh, this really, really nice uh, quality Go set from Yellow Mountain Imports. Go ahead and check it out and that is how Lou sees it.